Hi there, this is Prof. Johan from the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of Pretoria. Welcome to my series on the Introduction to Chemical Engineering and Chemical Engineering Principles. In this video, we're going to cover average molecular mass density in SG of gases. In the video on the mole unit, I've already described how to calculate the average molecular mass of a gas. I'll quickly recap though. In this example, we will say that air is made up of nitrogen, oxygen, and argon, just to make it a little bit more difficult. And these are very close to the true values of these gases making up air, with 78% being N2, 21% being O2, and approximately 1% being argon. Now, the molecular mass for nitrogen is 28. The molecular mass for oxygen is 32 and the molecular mass for argon is 18. Now you should remember from the previous videos that I said that if we refer to the fraction of gases that fraction will always be a mole fraction so these are the mole percentages for the components in the gas. Now when calculating the average molecular mass we're going to say that the average molecular mass is the contribution of the molecular mass of every species to the total system. So in this case, the average molecular mass of this gas will be the sum of the fractions of every one of these components multiplied by the molecular mass of every one of these components. So we're going to say that 0 0.78, and this is moles nitrogen over moles total, multiplied by the molecular mass of the nitrogen, which will be grams nitrogen over moles nitrogen. This is going to be 28. And you can see if we take these units, which is mole into over mole total, and we multiply it with gram into over mole into, we're going to get a gram into over total moles. If we now add this to the fraction oxygen multiplied by its molecular mass and we're going to have the same thing at the bottom here and lastly we're going to add the fraction of argon multiplied by its molecular mass units at the bottom again and you can see that the moles of nitrogen cancels the moles of nitrogen the moles of oxygen cancels with moles of oxygen and the moles of argon cancels with moles, moles of argon now multiplying everything out we have 284, and this is gram into over moles total, 6.72 gram O2 over mole total, plus 0 0.18 gram argon over mole total. And you can see if we add all these grams at the top together, because we have a common denominator at the bottom, we're going to have grams total over mole total. And this is the molecular mass again, where we have the gram of the total thing divided by the mo moles of that thing. And in this case, that is going to be gram air over mole air. Let's add all these values together and we have 28.74 grams total over moles total or 28.74 grams air over mole air which will now be the average molecular mass for air. The next topic we quickly want to talk about is density of gases. Now density of gases is interesting because we know that density is mass over volume and we know that mass is related to the moles of a substrate via the molecular weight. Now when we understand this and we remember the ideal gas law then we have PV equals nRT. We can see that if we change this N to mass and we rewrite the equation so that we have P over RT 
equals n over b. And now we change the moles to mass. How do we do that? Via the molecular weight. So we say moles equals mass divided by molecular weight. Let's look at the units. Kilograms over kilograms per mole. And we could see that this is going to become kilograms cancel out. One over mole go to the top. Which means this will become mole. Now substituting this into our ideal gas law, we have that P over RT equals M over V multiplied by the molecular mass. Seeing that we know that rho equals mass over volume, this will become rho over the molecular weight, which means we can rewrite the equation and say we can calculate the density of a gas by taking the pressure in the system, multiplying by the molecular mass of the gas in the system, divided by the gas constant, and divided by the temperature. As easy as that. I hope you see that by playing with the units in the system, by bringing in correlations that we know, using the ideal gas law, we can calculate quite interesting properties of gases. So for a certain gas, of which we know the molecular mass, or the average molecular mass for a mixture of gases, we can calculate the density for that gas, if we know the pressure and temperature at which that gas is. This is quite interesting. Lastly, same we had with liquids and solids. We could also have a specific gravity for gases, where the specific gravity is the density of our gas, the system divided by a, a reference density and this reference density is normally air at STP. Now the definition of STP is given in one of my other videos. As with other SGs there could also be other reference gases given. For instance we could say we have nitrogen at 300 kPa and 600 Kelvin as the reference gas. But this is only if given. Otherwise, we always assume that it's air at STP as the reference density to calculate SG. I hope this video is helpful.